The home screen is where you have access to your apps and games, search Google, go online, and adjust settings. There is also a front-facing camera for taking pictures or video chatting. On the edge of the tablet are a series of inputs and buttons, a mic, DC power port, power button, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, volume up button, and volume down button. On the bottom is the docking port, also used to connect to a computer. On the home screen, you can slide your finger left or right to access other screens. To get to your apps, touch the app drawer icon. Apps are shown here with more being viewed by swiping your finger left and right. If you swipe more to the left, you'll see a list of widgets. Widgets are mini apps that run on your home screen. Apps and widgets can be put on the home screen by holding them down for a few seconds. Towards the bottom of the screen is the notification bar. On the left are a series of controls. The back button allows you to go back to the previous screen at any time. The home button allows you to go to the home screen while on any screen. The recent apps button gives you a list of all previously used apps. The volume down button lowers the system volume. The volume up button raises the system volume. On the right is a clock along with status icons. This section is where you will see notifications like emails or app updates. If you touch this section, it will bring up the notification panel. The panel shows you the time and date, Wi-Fi, battery percentage, and notifications. You also have access to quick settings. When you access the quick settings, there are a number of items you can adjust. Use Google Search to search online or look for files, apps, or games on the device. Also, you can use Google Voice to search by speaking. When accessing recent apps, you can close any running app by swiping it up or down. In the Settings menu, there are two columns. The left column lists a number of categories. The right column gives settings of those categories. For instance, when tapping on the Wi-Fi category, a list of Wi-Fi connections will now be available to select. When connecting to a computer, tap on the Turn on USB Storage button. If using a Mac, you will need the Android File Transfer app from android.com slash filetransfer. 